So I just started this video three times <laughs> because I keep forgetting to speak soft spoken <laughs> and I keep whispering and that's not what this video is. So we're starting again. Hi guys. <laughs> Today's video is going to be my skincare collection. I don't really, I'll be honest, I love and adore skincare, um, and I went through phases of, like, just having a ton of skincare and having a skincare routine and all that stuff, and then I, I don't know, I just, maybe I stopped having the patience for it, or the money. <laughs> But now I really, really, really do very, very basic skincare. Um, I moisturize every day, at night, not in the morning when I probably should. Um, I only, <laughs> I only really wash my face if I wear makeup, which is not that often. Um, I don't use serum. <laughs> I barely exfoliate, so we really have taken, we've gone downhill. However, I do still have a lot of skincare um, that I use when I'm in the mood. Oh, okay. <laughs> what just happened? Why did that just shut off? I just charged it. Okay, it's probably going to shut off in a, in a minute or two, but it is what it is. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to show you my skincare collection. And, um... Yep, there it is. I don't understand. This thing is such a piece of crap. Like, I literally just charged it. For any of you that are curious, this is the, I'm pretty sure it's like the viral um, light from Amazon. I don't know. So, I guess we're doing this in the dark. <laughs> so, I will start off with what I use every night, which is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is a giant tub. And I love this stuff. It's really basic. It's nothing special. I go through moisturizer very, very, very quickly. And so, because I have very, very dry skin. And so, um... I lost my train of thought. And so, yeah. So I really like this. Um, again, very basic from First Aid Beauty. It says, intense hydration for dry, parched skin. Um, nothing too exciting. That is my first item. Thank you so much to the people mowing their lawns right now. It's 6 o'clock at night. Why are you mowing your lawn? Are you kidding me? Moving on in the dark. Um, the next thing that I pulled out of this bag, oh, I didn't even tell you guys about this bag. So this bag, again, pretty much just houses a crap ton of skincare that I don't really use. Um, I'll use it when I'm in the mood, but a lot of it is probably very expired. Um, the next thing that I pulled out is from the brand Elemis. E-L-E-M-I-S It is a face mask. It is the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I'm curious when this expired. <laughs> Six months from opening. I'm pretty sure I opened this four years ago, so. This says... Feed the skin with this versatile super green mask formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils, rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Vitamin C and passion fruit acids help brighten for a fresh looking complexion. I think I like this. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't used it in ages. Oh, 
Oh, that is most definitely expired. I should throw that out. This should be a, um, what's the word? Cleaning out my collection video. So that's the next thing. This is pretty much empty. Um, I like to, like, alternate moisturizers, so I'm always trying new things. Um, and before the First Day Beauty one, which is not new for me, I've had it a million times over, um, I was using the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Lotion. Now, this is not the same as the one in the, in the, in the one that looks like this. It's like the pump. I have used that one previously. It felt like a moisturizer, I'm not gonna lie. I The reason why I so often, like, try different mo moisturizers is because I'm looking for a miracle. <laughs> We're not a miracle, but, like, I want something that I know, I don't know, that I can, like, see a difference. And it's not often that I find that. I don't know. Like, people raved about the Skin Fix one, and so I bought it, even though it was crazy overpriced. <laughs> And it was nothing special and then i saw this in like marshall's and this is like the thinner version of it i believe and again nothing special like it was just a moisturizer so yeah but this one is pretty much empty okay next up ooh, what's this oh okay this is a hand cream i use this in uh videos actually a lot and on myself. <laughs> this I'm pretty sure is a dollar. It's like from the dollar store. It's utterly smooth hand cream. Absorbs fast without greasy residue. 24 hour moisture. Nothing exciting. The name makes me wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> because it's like a cow and it's utterly... <laughs> I have issues. Don't mind me. Okay, there's that. Ah, okay, I forgot I have this. This is from Saturday Skin. What is this? Refining Peel Gel. This is supposed to be an exfoliator. Here's the thing. I think these things are gimmicks. This is one of those that, like, if you take it and you put it anywhere, pretty much, and you start rubbing it, it gets, like, it turns piecey, and they're, like, they're, like, that's your dead skin. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, that is the formula that turns it, like, you guys can, you can't see because there's no light. But it's the formula that makes it that way. And they do it as a gimmick. I'm convinced. I don't actually think this is my dead skin. Um, for a while, I would only use exfoliators like this because I was like, oh my god, you can see what comes off your skin. No, you can't. No, you cannot. So yeah, this is from Saturday Skin, also very expired. Yeah, no, this is literally, this is not dead skin cells. This is, um, the actual product balled up into pieces. So, anyway, that's that one. Ah, we have this, which is also very old. This is one of your classic, like, childhood face masks from Freeman. It's the anti-stress, <clears throat> anti or anti-stress, I don't know, Dead Sea Minerals Clay Mask. This smells really good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good. And, I don't know, I, I, I know things expire, but also, like, do they really... <laughs> I don't know what scent this is, but it's delicious. And it's for all skin types. Um, instantly clears pores and balances for renewed skin. So I have dry skin, so I don't, I steer clear of anything that has the word pores <laughs> in it because the last thing I need is shrinking slash tightening of pores. We need to open my pores. So that's that mask. Oh my god, this is so freaking old. Holy crap. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Wow. 
I, this doesn't do anything. I, I don't know. I'm not convinced. This is very, very expired. Wow. Okay. I can't believe I still have this. So this is supposed to, let's see. Gently exfoliates and brightens, revealing healthy glowing skin for all skin types. Alcohol free, dermatologist tested. Use AM, PM, AM and PM or as needed. After cleansing, apply with a cotton pad, avoiding eye area. This doesn't do anything. I truly do not believe this does anything. Um, I've never used a toner that I'm like, oh yeah, that, that does something. I'm, I don't know. Ooh, oh my gosh. I forgot I had this. This is very, very old because this, okay, this is from Caudalie. It is their beauty elixir. Also does nothing. It's just a spray. It's literally like water and like nothing. Um, and I got this for free. I used to work in a cosmetic store. Um, that's how you know this is really expired because I worked there seven years ago. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I worked there seven years ago. Um, and my boss was a vindictive bitch. And she would, like, pit us against each other, like the saleswomen. And, um, and she once not once, many times she's done this, but like, she's like, whoever sells the most today is gonna get like free things from the store. And so everyone was like, mm, I don't want free shit. Um, oop, <laughs> sorry, maybe I'll bleep that out. Um, and, and yeah, so we were all like competing. It was literally horrific. Um, and I got this. I don't know why. I don't know for what, but I got this, so. Yeah. Here. Do you want some? Would you like some expired facial spray? Oh my god. Okay, that needs to go in the trash. That smells like alcohol. Like, straight up alcohol. Oh, we got another... Oh my god. That's, like, intense. We have another First Aid Beauty product. Also expired. Um, this is the Ultra Repair... Ultra Repair Oatmeal Mask. This is... It says it helps nourish and rejuvenate and it's safe for sensitive skin. Apply a generous layer over cleansed face. Wait 10 minutes and rinse off. Use it three times per, per week for dry or distressed skin. Just a mask. It's an oatmeal mask. I should probably... Oh, I thought it'd be dried out, but it's not. Okay. Oh, and I got this from Marshalls for $7.99. <laughs> I'm sure it was in great condition when I bought it, and it wasn't expired at all. Um, oh my god. Okay, this. I've never used this. It's also not really mine. This is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. I don't need this. <laughs> I mean, I need it in the sense that, like, I get pimples every so often because like we all do but then again I have these little pimple patches that I use or I use the hero ones which are really good but I got this um bizarre story really bizarre story um I live in quite a bougie area I guess not that I'm bougie but, um, I live somewhere where people have very large houses and very expensive cars. And, um, there was this family that was redoing their whole house. They were, like, knocking it down and they were going to start from scratch. And so, they moved out and they didn't really have patience to, like, clean up their house. Like, they packed what they wanted and then they left. And they basically told the community, um, come take what you want. <laughs> which was insane and like my father-in-law literally tells this story every single day because he can't get over it um he like they offered my father-in-law first because he was like friends with them he like walked into the house and saw like um a mac 
and um, beds, mattresses, like like a Samsung fridge, like expensive stuff. And he ex- assumed that they were coming back for this stuff because who the hell leaves Mac <laughs> and like expensive things? Um, and so he didn't like write his name down to take that stuff because like why would he think that that was takeable? And the next thing he knows, like, um, you know, the next person who came in, like, writes their name on the computer and writes their name on all the stuff. And he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm going to take the Mac. (laughs) And my father-in-law was like, what? Like, they literally just left stuff. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the finest, or our finest moment in the community, I feel like, because people trashed the house. It was really not nice. It was kind of gross. Um, but me and my husband went, we got like, we needed a fan. So they had extra fans. We took a fan. We got an espresso machine. That was pretty cool. It was broken. It was like sitting in the back, like whatever, but we took it and we were like, we'll fix it. And we did. Um, and then (laughs) disgusting, but there were like random skincare. Um, I don't know, just some stuff. There was some fake jewelry that I took. Um, and I found this. And I kept it for some reason. I have never used it. So, um, that's definitely expired and also kind of gross. But yeah, moving on. This is from Good Molecules. This is the niacinamide serum. Um,. I don't think this does anything if I'm being completely honest. Again, I have yet to find like a serum that I feel like (sighs) does anything magical. (laughs) Not that they're supposed to do something magical, but like I feel like if you're spending that amount of money on a product, it should be doing something. And I have yet to find something that I'm like, oh, that's worth the money. That does something for me. I'm going to continue to purchase that. Although I do really like the, there's a serum from Drunk Elephant that I like. Anyway, so there's this one. Um, I used it a few times. Doesn't really say what it does. Oh wait, it does. Formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores. Again, don't need this. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. This. This is from Luxaton. And I got this. I bought this. Why did I buy this? I was on a cruise with a friend of mine and they, I don't know. I feel like when you're on a cruise or when you're on vacation, you just spend money on crap that you don't need. Um, and that story is no different. (laughs) This was sort of on sale from like, I don't know, probably like $80 to like $60. And I was like, wow, what a steal. Um, and so I bought it. It is the... A mortel reset and it doesn't say anything about it but it has these little like balls i don't know how to explain it i don't know i don't think it does anything but i used it a few times and now it sits in the back of my thing <laughs> Ooh, okay we have the laneige lip sleeping mask this is a mini i'm pretty sure i got this as a birthday gift from sephora mm. I would never spend uh, money on this. I think it's a waste. Like, you can get the same effects from Carmex. And I like Carmex better. But, again, this was free. So, and we have it. So, next. Aha! Another first aid beauty product. This is also from, I believe, probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. This is the 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. I probably used this once and then never again. Um, apply to clean, moist skin, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 10 minutes or rinse with water or remove with a softened washcloth. May be used up to three times per week. I don't know what it does. It doesn't say what it does. Something about bounce. <laughs> oh, that's nasty yeah okay that's definitely expired maybe i'll try it i am curious what it does probably nothing oh my god another first day beauty product 
Oh, but this is, this is makeup. This is not really skincare. This is, um, the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Um, this is like a, uh, illuminating primer. Um, it kind of has a tint in a way. Not a real tint, but I actually really like this. I don't know if they still sell it. I don't remember it being like an actual, uh, like a thing. Um, yeah, it's nice actually. I use it from time to time. Definitely expired. I bought it ages ago. Probably don't even carry it anymore. Um, but yeah, I happen to hate coconut, so I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it, but. Ah, okay, next we have, this is from e.l.f. This is their Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. This packaging pisses me off. And the reason why is because you're like, oh, okay. So, obviously, you open it like this, right? Wrong. Freaking wrong. Wh <laughs> what? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put the name on here? I I don't know. Um, this is basically supposed to be a dupe for the... What is it called? It's like the gold. I might have it in here, actually. I don't know. Maybe we'll find it later. Um, but it's like the gold... Is this it? Yeah, this is it. The Grande Brow and the Grande Lash. So that's supposed to be a dupe. Oh, this is crusty. She's crusty. I don't know if this does anything, but I like to pretend it does. I haven't used it in years, but it's supposed to be like a lash serum or a brow serum. Help your brows grow. Oh, this, I used a lot of this. I got this in, I think, a BoxyCharm or something. I don't get those anymore, but I did at one point in time. Um, which tells you how old this really is. This is from Wander Beauty. You cannot see. I don't even know if that's still a brand. Um, I remember getting the most random <laughs> brands in BoxyCharm, and I was always like, I don't need this. Um, this is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. That's why I use this so often. <laughs> because I like masks. First of all, I like the peel-off masks. They're really satisfying and fun. And also, I was about to say then you don't have to wash your face, but that's not true. You do. But yeah, this one was fun. Um, it's like pink and shiny. Let's see if there's anything left. Oh. I don't know. There's definitely some in there, but it's pink and shiny and you put it on and it dries down and then you peel it off and it's fun <laughs> so I used that a whole bunch uh, this is from e.l.f. this is their holy hydration face cream I don't really use this I think I got it in it's funny because I use moist most moisturizers that I have I've never left a moisturizer untouched because <laughs> I always end up needing them because I run out or whatever I think I either forgot I had this or I really must not have liked it um, but I got this in, uh, the advent calendar that I purchased, um, probably two years ago or last year or something, um, and yeah, and I never used it. This is, I use these for role plays. I don't know where I got them from. <laughs> They're hyaluronic acid under eye pads. They're basically an under, it's an under eye mask. It says helps reduce puffiness and dark under eye circles. I don't buy it because I don't actually believe that sheet masks do anything ever. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't, I also don't know where I got it from. So that's not helpful. Okay. We have, this is empty. Why do I have this? <laughs> this is the Laneige water bank moisture cream. I'm assuming it's a moisturizer. It's empty. I told you I use my moisturizers. I just do. I just use them. This is garbage. 
I don't remember what I felt about it, so couldn't even tell you if I wanted to. Uh, this is another e.l.f. ouch. This is another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Booster Drops. I got these because I was like, oh, I'm going to boost my moisturizer and make it more moisturizing. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. And I don't think it does anything. I don't know. So. Ooh. Okay. And it says, see, this pisses me off because it's like skin types, dry, oily combination. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. There's no way it works for all those. Oh, we have another Laneige product. I think all three of these probably came together as a birthday gift. But this is the water sleeping mask. Oh, um, this is full. I probably didn't use it because I don't like water-based moisturizers. They're too thin for me. Again, I have super dry skin, and so I prefer, like, a thick mama um, as opposed to, like, a water-based because it's too light. It doesn't really do much. <sighs> so, yeah, I still have that. I'll use that at some point in time. Uh, ooh, bro. Oh, wait, it's a moisturizer. Okay. This is from Pharmacy. It's a mini. It's the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I have never used this. I've never even opened it. Oh, it's bouncy. It's weird. I think it's probably expired, to be honest. <laughs> but, ooh. Oh, my God. That smells really bad. Um, maybe I won't use that. <laughs> I happen to love the pharmacy makeup removing, like makeup cleansing balm. Um, that's really good. I think this probably came with the last one that I purchased. I also like to mix up my um, cleansers like that. So again, I don't really use like regular cleansers. I'll use makeup removing cleansers and I typically like a balm. So like the pharmacy one, or right now I believe I'm using the e.l.f. one because it was cheap and I was balling on a budget. <laughs> um, before that, I was using the drunk elephant one. That one wasn't bad. It was not worth the price. It actually wasn't that expensive now that I think about it. It was like 36 bucks, which is not cheap, but I think it's about the same as the pharmacy. Um, let's see what else this is pissing me off. I have like hairs that are coming out in the front and it's just annoying me um oh my god i made it worse okay <laughs> anyway um so yeah that probably came with the last one and i forgot to use it so that's that what do we got here oh this is from glossier as you can see i've never opened it <laughs> my sister i think it was like two years ago when i was having a really hard time she like i had a a glossier package show up at my door. It was really sweet. She ordered me a couple stuff. Um, and this is one of the things. This is the wildfigbalm.com universal salve. So it's a, it's a lip, whatever. Okay. I definitely did try it slash swatch it, but I don't think I've ever actually worn it or used it. It's not really my style or type I um mm, okay that's not so bad um, again I'm a Carmex girly <laughs> I prefer nothing or like share or clear or nude um I don't like pinks or whatever the hell this is so yeah that's why we're not we never really use that i have oh face and body scar gel scar scar gel this is empty i don't know why i still have this but i think i ordered it when we first this must have been almost three years three and a half years ago 
almost four years ago, um, when my cat was a little baby kitten and we first got him, we, not we, I was bathing him and he decided that he wanted to destroy me <laughs> and my body and he um, clawed his way up or down my body. I think I was holding him. And so for the longest time, my belly was covered in scars from claw marks. Um, and the craziest part was like, it wasn't even stretch marks. It was literally like claw marks. Um, and yeah, and now that I'm pregnant and I have stretch marks, I would give anything for the claw marks. <laughs> So there's that. Um, oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, this needs to go in the garbage. Holy crap. This is so tiny, though. This is, I think I spent my points on it. I freaking, I freaking hate Sephora. Okay, this was probably 300 points or something. Which is the equivalent of $300 because a dollar is a point. No, it was probably 100 points. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> Sephora. Seriously. Um, Charlotte's Magic Serum. Crystal Elixir. I don't know. I also have this facial blade, facial razor. Um. I have this. This. These are bath salts. I don't know why it's in here. Um. There's this place in Florida. Um. Why is it called? Disney Springs, I think. Um could be making that name up but it's basically like an outdoor shopping area all associated with like disney i think it's called disney springs um and when i went there a few years ago with my husband we went shopping and they had like an entire store dedicated to bath bombs and soaps and bath salts and i was like in seventh heaven because i love like those like scents <laughs> and I bought bath salts and I mixed a few different flavors and I've never used them so yeah there's that we have another facial razor we have ah this is oh my god I must throw this out look at the color <laughs> this is the glow recipe pineapple sea bright serum I used almost the entire thing of this and I don't think I ever saw a difference in my skin. I don't know what it was supposed to do. Um, we have another good mo molecules product, overnight exfoliating treatment, um, formulated with AHA and BHA to help resurface and renew skin. Maybe I should try this. I don't know. Maybe it'll do something. Maybe it'll give me a new face. <laughs> And then I have this. I don't know where I got this from. Because I don't remember buying it. But this is from Ahava. Um, this is the Leave On Dead Sea Mud. Leave On Dead Sea Mud foot cream. It's a foot cream. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. Um, but it does smell really good. And I do remember it being really hydrating and moisturizing. So cool and then uh last but not least not really a skincare product uh, sort of a skincare product this is the piercing bump solution i i have so i have two piercings here i have two here i had two here and i had one in there now this one and this one i had to let close up because after a year it was still infected and it was not going away um and i got these giant bumps um in those areas and nothing was getting rid of it um i was cleaning it every day and everything <clears throat> but my cartilage just just does not take piercings well i actually had a cartilage piercing here that i had to take out at one point in time i had other cartilage piercings that I had to take out. Um, yeah, my body does not, my anatomy does not react well to cartilage piercings. And so, yeah, so I use this 
it's definitely 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 helped it hasn't completely made it go away like i still have like you can't tell on camera actually you can you can totally see it wow i have a bump right there and then uh right there so um so yeah so i try to use that as often as i can um and that's pretty much it guys i'm just putting everything back in my bag to be forgotten about for another two years <laughs> um i was about to say that this glossier gloss is growing on me but it's not it's not i changed my mind it is not growing on me um and if any of you guys have a recommendation for a good because clearly that scar cream is empty um if any of you guys rec have a recommendation for a good scar cream let me know because i've got some stretch marks so or not scar whatever stretch mark cream whatever anyway hope you guys enjoyed that i don't do soft-spoken videos very often i find them kind of hard actually but now that i'm doing it i'm like oh it's not that bad maybe i'll do another one i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video not wearing this mm -mm, mm -mm, nope